Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle and today we're going to go through our 2025 Leaving Cert Biology exam predictions. Just before we get started, I'd like to give you a quick disclaimer that even though we worked with expert teachers to get these predictions, nothing is absolutely guaranteed to come up on the day of the exam. So take everything in this video with a pinch of salt. That all being said, you don't need to worry about any surprises that may come up because we have you covered. If you stick till the end of the video, we'll go through loads of tips and tricks and resources that you can use to get the grade you deserve. So let's get started. Section A is where you're gonna find all of the short questions. You're gonna see a choice of seven questions and you only need to do five. For question one, the topics that normally come up are food, food tests, and biomolecules. And question two is usually a question on ecology. So if you know these topics really well, then you will be sorted for two out of five of the short questions. My own piece of advice here is to actually do all seven questions because it's only your top five that will count towards your grade. And they're so quick to do that you might as well do an extra two. Especially when quite often you'll see a true or false question that takes no time to answer, you just tick a box. There was a true or false question crop up in the 2024 exam, but it didn't come up in 2023 and it is a common question, so you might see that on the exam this year. The great thing about biology is that the questions tend to repeat themselves all of the time. This means that if you've practiced enough short questions, then you'll likely not see a lot of surprises in this part of the exam. And the StudyClick site actually makes this sort of revision much easier because we break down all of the past exam paper questions into neat topics. And using this to study will actually save you loads of time that you would have normally spent flicking through your past exam paper questions to find a specific topic. So definitely do check that out. Before we continue to section B, I'd like to quickly mention that ecology is a really important topic to study because it can be one short question and one long question, making it a minimum of 20% of your exam. You should know this topic really, really well if you want to save time from studying other topics that may or may not come up. Ecology is a topic that not a lot of people like because it is quite a long one, but it's okay, we have you covered. On the StudyClicks website, you can find this revision course called Biology Boost that basically breaks down everything you need to know in all topics of biology. And the Ecology Boost is available completely for free and it basically tells you every single thing you need to know for your exams. So if you want to make sure you're covered for ecology, then do check out the link in the description box below. So moving on to section B, here you'll find three experiment questions, but you only need to do two. There will be question eight, question nine, and question 10. For question eight, it'll usually be an experiment from unit one, which includes these topics. And for question nine, you'll usually find an experiment from unit two, which includes these topics. I personally wouldn't recommend doing question 10 because it often asks for a lot of detail and it can come from any part of the biology course. However, question eight and question nine are much more predictable and straightforward. And just so you know, we will pop up a list of all the experiments that haven't cropped up since 2018. So if you wanna save some time, you can skim these experiments, but skim with caution because there's always a chance that they might come up. And now moving on to section C, what you need to know about the long questions. Here you'll have a choice of seven questions and you only need to answer four. In the section of the paper, if you know DNA, genetics, and biochemistry, then you're almost guaranteed two out of seven questions to come up in these topics. Additionally, there is almost always one long question in ecology. So knowing these topics really well will basically sort you out for three out of these seven possible questions. But you need to do a fourth question, and how do you decide which one to do? For your fourth question, you can opt to do one of the two half questions, and will pop up on the screen some examples of these. Now here is a trick that can maximize your marks. For these half questions, which would be question 16 and question 17, you only need to do two of the four parts, but if you have enough time, you could even do a third part, and your best two will be counted and will pop up on the screen the topics that normally come up here. And just so you know, here are some common trends and topics that may come up in the biology exam. So if you're already confident in everything to do with biology, then revising the course with these themes in mind might help you to avoid some surprises on the day of your exam. And finally, here are some tips and tricks for studying Leaving Cert Biology. First of all, definitions can crop up anywhere and everywhere in the exam paper. You really just can't get away with not knowing them. 
On Study Clicks, we have loads of flashcards and quizzes for all the definitions you might find in Leaving Cert Biology, so definitely check those out for some easy revision. And also, if you're curious about what topics have and haven't come up in recent years, then we actually have these prediction tables on the Study Clicks site that basically break down what did or did not come up in recent years. And finally, if you're looking for some more tips and tricks for Leaving Cert Biology, we actually have a H1 guide going through everything you'll need to know for the exam. And by the way, you'll find everything linked in the description box below. And so that is all we have for biology, but we've already covered different subjects. Be sure to check out our playlist of prediction videos. We've already made some for subjects like maths, English, and Irish. But if there is a specific subject we haven't covered yet and you'd like us to, do be sure to leave a comment. I hope this video helped and best of luck with the Leaving Cert Biology study. Bye!